Rocket Lab's Electron rocket has been the pinnacle of success in the small launch vehicle market. In honor of that, a year ago, I released the 1-100 scale Electron model rocket. It's a great little flyer, lots of fun, but it's time to level up. Today, I'll be talking about the 150 scale Electron model rocket. We're gonna go through the design process, all the decisions that were made. We're gonna look at how to build it, and we're gonna look at some flight video. They're now available for sale from maxqrockets.com, so if you want to, head on over there right now. The first 30 sales are gonna include a commemorative plaque, so if that's important to you, get one as soon as possible before they sell out. So without our further ado, let's take a look. First up, let's talk about the design process. So the 1-100 scale is great, and a lot of my rockets I have in 1-100 scale. It's a nice way to see the difference in all the sizes between the rockets. This is a 1-100 scale SLS and how huge it is. And next to it, we have the Electron, which is one of the tiniest ones out there. The actual rocket's only 1.2 meters in diameter, which is only like four feet. It's pretty small. And while this is a great size, I wanted something that more epitomized what we kind of traditionally launch with model rockets. This one's designed around the half A and quarter A size, the 12 millimeter size engine. And I thought, why, what can I do to scale it up to the 18 millimeter engines like this one right here and try and get it a good size for that? So I looked at one to 75 scale, that was still too small. And then I saw 150 scale, printed out a mock-up, perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. So I decided one to 50 scale is gonna go really good. It's gonna look great. That's what I was gonna go with. Couple more things about the design. The original rocket, while it is really tiny, also had a problem in that the decals on it are white on black. And for whatever reason, Rocket Lab really likes a black rocket with white lettering on it. And if you're printing out decals, that's really hard because printers have ink for black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. So you can print every color except white. And so you can't get a clear decal and print white on top of it. So what you have to do is you have to get a white decal and print black everywhere. And while that mostly works really good, there's actually a slight sheen difference between where the decal is and the 3D printed body. I don't love that, it works and it looks pretty good, but if you get up close, it's not perfect. And so what I wanted to try and also do was figure out a way to do the electron and the little icon up in the top a little bit better. So what I tried out first was I thought, maybe if I dual color printed these, I could print, just like with the bands, I could print these as well, and then there'd be no decals at all. So this was the first test print I did where I designed it, and I had to get the lines thick enough so that it could lay down plastic, because each one of these little bits of gray is actually a thin bit of plastic being laid down. So if I go too small, it's not actually gonna lay down enough plastic. And if I go too big, it's not gonna look right. So I had to find just the right width of each one of these lines so that it looks good and can print. And I think I nailed it. This was the first print I did. And when, I, when it printed out, it was one of those moments where I'm like, all right, that's gonna work. So I finished the rocket out and ended up with this. So what I did also was every single one of the joints is threaded. So that means you can disassemble the rocket. So the, into all of its com constituent parts and it all comes apart. That's pretty cool. So what this ends up being is a rocket that has no decals and no gluing. Makes it a lot easier to put together. Now, I would have liked a little bit more challenge in putting it together, so hopefully you'll forgive me for that, but I thought, let's just gonna make this one as easy as possible, but also to look as good as possible. And I think I got there. One other thing is it's gonna need fins. All of these model rockets are gonna need fins because there's no thrust vectoring. And traditionally what I've done is I've used a clear filament to do the fins. And I thought, you know, this is a cool black looking rocket. If I added some clear fins down here, it actually would take away a little bit. So what I did is I designed some black fins that fit over it and hopefully kind of enhance the rocket just a little bit. So you can slide the fins over the bottom and the engines are still visible and it just screws on the bottom like this. So now if you wanna fly the rocket, you just put these nice black fins on there. It's a little different like I've been doing, but I think it actually works. So if you, if you disagree or if you like it, let me know in the comments and we'll see what everybody thinks. So at this point, I had a really nice rocket and I'm pretty happy with how it comes out. Next up is assembly. So let's take a look at what it takes to assemble this. The first step is we're gonna take the second stage engine and we're gonna feed the shock cord through the bottom, through the opening, and we're gonna tie it to 
this bar up at the top. And I sometimes like to use some scissors to grab it, and that helps me get it through. I'm going to tie just a simple knot. And another one. And that should hold it. And I'm going to actually just put a dab of glue right there just to hold it in place. Lock it. And cut that end off. Next up, we're going to screw this together. So I'm going to just screw this on here. The second stage engine into the second stage. And put the payload adapter up on top. And that second stage is now done. Next up, we're going to do the first stage. So what we need is the Kevlar cord right here and the second stage main part, the body tube. And we're going to pass the Kevlar cord through the two holes in the side of the launch lug right there. Do not pass it down through the launch lug. You want it through the side. So I'm going to pass it, pass it through one of the holes like this, and then back through like so. And then we're going to just tie it off. And remember, Kevlar does not hold a knot very tight. So it actually is kind of important to glue this one once you've got it tied. So there I've got it tied on real good. And I'm going to put just a dab of glue on it just to make sure it doesn't come untied. And that's it for the gluing. I promised you no gluing. And really, it's minimal gluing, so we'll live with that. And then finally, take the Kevlar cord. And there's a small hole in the body tube. So we're going to take the Kevlar cord, and we're going to pass it through the hole in the body tube, and just feed that up to the top right there, and pull it out. Oh, let me get around on the right side. There we go. Now I'm going to cut off the excess of this Kevlar cord. And we now have the bottom ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the fins on as though it was ready for launch. So I'm going to pass the bottom of the engine mount in there and then thread this on like that. We're almost done, believe it or not. So next up, I'm going to put a simple knot in the top of the Kevlar cord right here. That just gives me a place to anchor the rest. I'm going to take the shock cord, tie it on to the Kevlar, another double knot. And now the first and second stage are put together. Finally, we're going to use a streamer recovery on this one. So I'm just going to take the end of it and tie it around the shock cord part. Just a simple knot, double knot it just to make sure, and it's pretty much together. So what I'm going to do then is just wrap this together, tuck it into the body tube along with the shock cord and Kevlar cord, and everything is assembled. Spin it around so everything lines up. And there you have the Rocket Lab Electron 150 scale. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think the dual color printing came out really nice with the electron lettering and the atom up on the top. The shape is great. The size is a lot better. Even though the last one launched really well, I think this is going to be great. I've already launched it a few times. It launches beautifully. So yeah, I hope you guys are going to be really happy with it. Let's take a look at some launch video. I don't have a ton of it. I did take it out and launch it several times, and it's been launching beautifully. But I do have one launch from a couple weeks ago where I took it out to the local area rocket launch. So let's take a look at the video of that. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, launch. Three, two, one, launch. So unfortunately, my autofocus went crazy, and I lost the second half of the launch as well as the landing. But the launch did go very well, and I recovered it ready to fly again. So there you have it, the 150 scale Electron model rocket. I really like it. I think it's come out really nice. It's bigger. It's easier to put together. And with the new two color printing, I think it looks just amazing. 
and I hope you want one of these. If you do, head on over to maxqrockets.com right now. You can pick one up. They'll start shipping this weekend. The first 30, remember, come with a commemorative plaque. So if you want one of those, be sure to get one as soon as possible. And if you have any thoughts on it, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. I've got more videos, not just about my rockets, but about 3D printing and model rocketry in general. So a lot more stuff is coming. Be sure to subscribe. Keep your eyes on the sky with Max Q Rockets.